What is up, you people? My name is Tara Lunsford, and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. Now, if you're new, then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel at my past reviews. Now, if you're not new here, then, well, you've probably seen me before. So, hey, nice to, nice to have you again. Thanks for being back. Really do appreciate it. And you're here for a magic review, so that's what I'm going to give you. Let's talk about Spicks. It's kind of two tricks in one. So, I guess you're getting two reviews today, in a way, in this one video. Anyways, point is, let's go ahead and get right into this review right now. First off, you need to know what actually is Spix. Well, Spix is two different tricks. It's air code and air print. So let's talk about air print first. Imagine asking the spectators to think of any object in any color. Millions of choices and combinations are possible. Without any suspicious gesture, finish your routine by explaining that you came beforehand with a small souvenir for your spectator. They then discover the photo of their unusual object in the color corresponding to their choice, a purely extraordinary effect that leaves a physical and impossible memory for your audience. If you do not want to print the photo, AirPrint allows it to appear in your gallery on a desired date, so you can do that version as well. Here's an example of a routine using air code. Ask of them to think of their phone passcode and then look at your phone. Without touching anything, the numbers on the lock screen are put in one by one as if they are traveling through the air, unlocking the phone from a distance with their passcode. This is a mentalism effect that's also been combined with digital magic that will be remembered. Many presentations are possible to match your style and leave your viewers speechless. AirPrint and AirCode are fully customizable according to your needs and can be carried out with or without an internet connection. You can use them in combination like the French twins or independently depending on the duration of your routine and the desired emotion of your audience members. The application has been designed for workers, easy to use and reassuring. Discover the power of Spix now. Here are some of the features. All effects are fully customizable, including trigger mode and delays, possibility to connect a universal Bluetooth remote control that it comes with, it's instant reset, it comes with a detailed explanation video in French and English with many subtleties and ideas. For AirPrint, you can do it with or without an internet connection, and there's two devastating worker effects. And both AirCode and AirPrint are easy to use. The system requirements for this are Apple iPhone iOS 12 at a minimum. What will you be receiving if you decide to purchase Spix? You'll be receiving the app itself, along with a 50 minute instructional video in English or French, as I mentioned previously. But it will not come with a printer, so you will need to buy a pocket printer for anywhere from $65 to $90, depending on which one you get. Now to know what Spix is and what you'll be receiving, let's talk about some more questions you may have, such as how difficult is it to perform? Spix is not difficult to do, either routine, air code or air print, both of them are pretty easy to do. Now you will need to work on a little bit of misdirection slash timing when it comes to inputting a certain amount of things, but it's pretty easy to do and you can work that into your routine pretty easily. Let's talk about the angles for Spix. The angles kind of depend on which one you're doing. Obviously, there are ways to do this with an accomplice, so that way they can input this stuff and do it pretty easily. But if you want to just make sure that you can misdirect properly, then you can get it more to your angles don't matter. But personally, I do recommend you just performing this to like one or two people. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it without having to worry about your angles entirely because it's a lot easier to misdirect, you know, one or two people than a whole group of people. But with that said, you definitely can do it to a group of people. It will just kind of depend on how good you are at misdirecting and routining and stuff like that. But with some practice, pretty much anyone can do this. Is Spix examinable? Yes and no. The picture that you print out is, that's a sticker that you can stick on them and have them keep it with you or put it on the back of your business card and give you, or give them your business card. You can do that. Now when it comes to the, the passcode, you couldn't have them put in your passcode on your actual like phone lock screen. It will just need to be in the Spix app. So you can't have them like examine it and be like, here, here, you can try it again. But as long as you just properly like manage your audience well, I don't think that you'll need to worry about that. So yes, part of it's examinable, but also part of it's not. That's where I'll leave it. Is there any DIY or anything you need to buy? Yes, there is something you need to buy. Not really any DIY, just some initial setup that you have to do with like learning the app and stuff. But buying something, yes, you will need to buy a mini pocket printer, which they go into the kinds to buy. It will cost you about $65 to $90, depending on which one you want and which one you end up getting. So I just want that out there. You do need to buy something, and it is going to cost you about $65 to $90 US dollars. What's the reset like for Spix? The reset's instant. I mean, this is an app that's going to basically reset itself. It's that you don't really have to do much. It's pretty much instant reset. Are there any negatives about Spix? Well, Spix is built on an app in test flight. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of a way for people to test out apps in the app store, but using a, a test flight app from Apple. It's hard to explain, but basically the stuff that they're trying to do in this app for Spix, well, that they did do, the stuff that they have 
coded this app to do is in a way I think illegal with not like illegal but illegal to the app store as in you can't make apps that do that so something was wrong with the requirements of it being in the app store so they basically had to put it on the app store in test flight which is a way to download apps that are like prototyped or you know kind of like in their infancy stages but essentially what that means is that you're gonna have to re-download this app every I think it's 90 days so if you're using this a lot or if you want to use it make sure that it is downloaded on your phone in test flight because it is gonna take a little bit of just saying oh hey is my 90 days up or not but it's pretty easy to do I mean just keep track of it but just there is that added little bit of you do have to install it every 90 days again because that's how test flight works one more thing i will say that is a negative is the bluetooth button that comes with it that basically allows it to do the air code where you know you have the phone here and you tap the air and the code you know gets tapped in like the digit gets tapped that's with your bluetooth piece that you get now the great thing about it is that it comes with it you don't have to go out and buy a bluetooth remote which is awesome the bad part about it is the Bluetooth remote that you get can be a little, little bit noisy when it comes to clicking it. Not saying that it's a horrible Bluetooth remote by any means, I'm glad they included it, but just saying that you can't do this in a dead silent room because they will hear it. So you need to make sure that you're either talking when this happens or that it's like muffled in your pocket in a way or something. But I've tried this, I've put it in my pocket and I've tried pressing the button in like right in front of everyone and it's just like it's still you know it's still kind of a little bit noisy so just be aware of that you will need to make sure that it's not dead silent in the room you're performing for so maybe like a snap would cover it so if you just kind of poke and snap or if you just kind of snap instead of like pretending to touch it then you can press the button and also snap at the same time and that can kind of cover the noise a little bit but i just want to let you know of that because it is something that you will need to worry about depending on which area you're performing it. One of the positives about Spix, I love that Spix comes with a live performance so you can really see what it looks like when it's performed live to someone. You can watch that and that way you can kind of, you know, look at how you're doing and make sure you're doing it properly. They perform it just to one person, which is why I say it's best performed. Airprint is best performed to one or two people. Air code, it really does not matter how many people are there. You could perform that you know, surrounded with whatever because that's when the Bluetooth remote comes into play. You don't really need to worry about inputting too much there. So, it really just depends because obviously you need misdirection when you're performing air code as well but that's just to input a couple things and then you're good to go but for the air print then you need to that's when it kind of comes down the one or two people would be best because it takes a little bit more misdirection for what you have to do and so you know what are the positives well that live performance shows you what it looks like when they're performing to one person and two I really like that this comes with two different things and it's not just like one I mean then they don't really combine that well together as far as like you, you can make a story out of it and find a way to connect them. I don't really know why they both got included on the same app, but I'm more than happy that they did because more bang for the buck, whatever, I'll take it. You can find a way to link them in a performance. That's fine. But what I will say is another positive is that the actual just like when it looks like, you know, the codes getting pressed in or like it just, it, it's really cool. I do like it. Like overall, I like the idea of it. It's just kind of like, why did why did these two go together? I don't know, but I do like them. I think this it's a cool idea for a trick. What should Spix retail as? Well, currently Spix is going to retail for about forty U.S. dollars, and is that a fair price? In in a way, yes. I mean, you have to buy something else, which is like where it comes into, are you going to use the air print? Because if you are, then and you know maybe you can justify the price for the printer. But if you're not, then you're just using air code. Then it probably should be more like thirty dollars or thirty five dollars. So I don't know. It, it could be forty. It, it obviously is but I'm saying like justifiably wise it just kind of depends on what you're gonna get out of it so if you're gonna buy the printer and you think you're performing a lot then I think it's worth the money but if you're just doing air code then it's like well you might be paying a little bit over for it if you're just using one of the things the app has to offer thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of this video I really do appreciate it and if you feel that Spix is for you the link to purchase it is in the description down below I'd like to thank the French twins for allowing me to have this product so that way I can do this for you a few beautiful people out there the French twins do some really cool magic so if you want to check them out their Instagram is linked below so you can check them out but remember hey I'm, gr I'm grateful. I'm thankful for you. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video because you absolutely did not have to. So thanks for doing that. I genuinely do appreciate it. So thanks so much. And I hope to see you in another video that I post on the channel sometime soon. Remember, be nice to people. See ya.
how I stay afloat. Caffeine. Coffee. Coffee with some caffeine. I don't know what that was.